Alright guys, we are back for some more Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward. I actually haven't thought about that in a while. Um, with the, with the title being Virtues Last Reward. Hmm. I've always wondered, like, I think, I don't think I've ever said it in a video, but I think in the back of my mind I'd wonder, like, Virtues Last Reward, like, I guess Virtues could be good or bad, right? You can have good and bad Virtues. But my first instinct was, like, what if, like, the last reward is, like, for having good virtues, which which always made me think, ever since I got to the first AB game, I think I had it in the back of my mind whenever I saw the, the game name, like, off-camera when I was editing and uploading the videos and stuff like that, I was like, hmm, I wonder if it has anything to do with, like, the AB game and your choices and, like, Virtues last reward if it does refer to good virtues, maybe it means that like you get rewarded by Everyone just working together and allying kind of thing, you know, I don't know. It's probably nothing like that I wonder I wonder if the name does have a significance to the story or if it is just something like it's just like what they what they chose to name it like like realistically like uh what the first game, 999, nine, nine, nine people, nine doors, nine... Shit. Wait, what was the last one? Nine people, nine doors... Oh, I'm stupid. Why can't I think of it now? Anyway. <laughs> what? Hold on. I gotta know. Google time. Zero, escape, 999. Nine, nine. Um, nine hours. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Because it was nine hours that we had. Okay, I'm stupid. I can't not believe I forgot that. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I had to go Google that real fast. Um, yeah, realistically, that just kind of explained, like, described the game. You know, it didn't really, like, have anything to do with, like, the overall story and, like, spoilers or whatever, you know? Maybe, like, spoilers for the first few minutes where you, like, Oh, well, I guess I know there's nine people, probably, you know, but, yeah. Anyway, puzzle room. Let's do it, guys. So we have a bunch of things. We have a random balloon right in front of us. Um, we might as well look at the computer, even though I imagine we need to figure out what the ID and password are. Well, well, what do we have here? Haven't seen a computer this old in a while. That's right, they're in 2028, or at least most of them. So this is a very old computer for them, especially in 2028. There's something on the screen. Is that a lion eating a hand? Oh yeah, another lion. That's true. That's another lion. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if, like, we keep seeing lion references everywhere. I'm trying to, like, I still don't think I know how to fit that into the story either. Hmm. Is that a lion eating a hand? It looks like lion eating a son to me. I really don't think so. I think the lion's got two heads. Looks like a monster from Greek myth or something. <laughs> Quirk, Quirk knows, like, what Greek mythology monsters look like, but thinks that's a hamburger. Okay. It looks like it's asking for an ID and password underneath the lion. Huh? The keyboard doesn't seem to be working, though. Oh. I guess we can't enter anything, then. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Guess we're going back to that. What about... Oh, I guess we can't click on the actual computer. Alright, what's this? By the way, guys, um, I hope you can't hear it. I have... I have grapes. <laughs> I actually have cotton candy flavored grapes. It is still the weirdest friggin' thing I've ever heard of. Um... My my mom actually bought them for me, and she because she thought I liked them, because she bought them by accident one time when I asked her to get grapes, um, and yeah, she bought them by accident. And the funny thing was, I was on Discord with, I think I was on Discord with friends that I don't normally talk to that much like usually we play like one game every now and then and, I, and i'll hop on their discord and play with them um and i ended up trying the grapes and i was like i said on the discord i was like man 
I hope I'm not having a stroke or something, because these grapes taste like cotton candy. And my friend said to me, you know they make, like, different flavored grapes, right? And cotton candy is one of them. I was like, are you serious? And I looked into the package and found out. And this was, like, maybe a year ago that I found this out. So she bought them for me again, thinking I liked them the last time she got them, which I, I actually didn't. Well, I didn't not like them. But I like regular grapes better, you know? So, uh, long story short, I have some of these with me. I'm gonna be eating them every now and then. I hope my mic doesn't pick it up. If it does, I apologize. I'm gonna try to chew with my mouth shut and everything, so hopefully it'll be quiet and stuff. Alright. I checked it out earlier, but I think it's just a business card holder. Okay. <laughs> A business card holder? Yeah. It's a file where you put business cards. They've all got these weird shapes on the back. I think maybe if you line them up in a particular way, then you'll get some sort of hint. Oh, place the business cards in the correct order by clicking one business card. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we can give it a shot. Oh. There's gotta be more info. To know what order to put these in. There's no way we're supposed to know that yet. <laughs> Maybe you don't have enough information. Yeah. Alright, what about this? Oh, locked. Gah, it's not opening. Is it locked? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't see anything that looks like a keyhole, though. There's this diamond-shaped hole in the middle, though. Do you think we're supposed to stick something in there? Probably. I would... I would assume so. Uh, what about that? Nope. Okay. Can't get to that drawer thing over there. Or this computer, so. Alright, moving on. What is this? One of the training machines you see on late night infomercials? I think it's a facial recognition device. It looks like a keyhole. Doesn't that look like, uh... I feel like we might have seen this keyhole before, too. Yeah, we've seen this keyhole in several places, but it also looks like the keyhole that's on uh, K's, the back of K's head, right? A what? You put your hands on either side and hold your face in front of that lens. And then it checks your face against whatever it's got in its database. Oh, I'm actually really not feeling these... these and candy grapes right now. I want to try to eat them because I don't like wasting food, so I probably will still eat them. Probably... I think I'll just wait until after the video and then I'll sit here and pound some of them down rather than just eating one at a time sparingly. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Huh. How did you know that? I'm in the salvage business. Every so often one of these babies shows up. Ted Mioji is in the salvage business, yet he was somehow a part of a government mission to simulate people on Mars? Ted Mioji has gotten around. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Yeah, nothing happens when I put my face in front of it. There's something to the right of the lens over there that looks like an awful lot like a keyhole. If we had a key for it, you think maybe we could turn it on? I assume so. Alright. We need a key. Balloon! You want a cork? I don't need a balloon. I'm not a kid. Really? How old are you? I'm 20. Wait, what? No way. He's lying. What? No way. Gotcha. Ha 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 ha. You never know. You never know with these, with these Japanese games. There's a screen built into the cred credenza. There's something on it. We got a hoe in there. Starting up. Please wait. What is it starting? Beats me. Well, my money says that just means it won't do squat if you mess with it right now. How about you go have a look at something else? Oh. Okay, Tenmyoji. You're the boss. 
so that's how we open. Oh, never mind. We can just open this. I assume that screen was how we open this. Aha! Now this is brandy. Fieri Perrin's twenty uh, two hundred year old reserve. You can tell that just by looking at it. I can smell it. That's some nose you've got there. Here, just let me have a taste. I don't think so. How can you be so cruel? Expensive brandy. Okay. What about this other one? What is... Oh. Oh, we put the brand... Huh. Well, putting the expensive... I didn't... I was trying to grab the coaster, not put that there, but I had the thought of if we put something and interrupt this beam. Huh, well, putting the expensive brandy on the coaster didn't seem to do anything. The laser beam just went... Oh, we need to block it. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? If you keep frying it with that laser, you're gonna ruin the brandy. <laughs> Pull it out of there right now. Okay, well, we we do need to block it, just not with the brandy, I suppose. With a globe! Aha! Can it fit? Looks like a green coaster, the stain on there makes it look like something was sitting here earlier. Oh. Not a globe! <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's that. We don't need to mess with that yet, right? Oh, hello. What do you got? A slingshot? Okay. We'll examine some of these things in a minute. Let me just grab a bunch of them, because we have a, a short spear. And it looks like an L or a part of something greater, because I notice these paint marks all over the room. I wonder if we need to somehow, like, reorganize or something. A suit of armor. Well, it's not really a full suit of armor, is it? I mean, it's missing the helmet. So what would we call it? I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a suit of armor, okay? Suit yourself. Anyway. It's got some red paint on the neck and shoulder area. Are you sure it's paint? It could be blood. Uh, it looks too perfectly smeared for it to be blood. H hey! Don't say stuff like that. Being in a room with a headless suit of armor is creepy enough. <laughs> okay. Well, we got those two thingies. Uh, we might as well examine some of this. So he's got a spear instead of a sword? This is a really short spear, though. If you look at the tip head-on, it looks kind of like a diamond. A diamond, huh? Hmm. I have a theory that that is supposed to go in... Maybe that's supposed to go with the laser. Sometimes lasers, like, go through different gems like that and, like, do special shit. Oh, this is good stuff right here. From... Okay, yeah, he already said that. Uh, yeah, he already told me that. Oh, did I? Yeah, 200 years is pretty impressive, though. Yes, yes it is. Then again, it's even older than that by now. Maybe it's gone bad. So, I know nothing about liquor. Oh, I just realized there's actually, this is a paint mark on this thing, too. Um, I should drink, no, Oh, <laughs> Yeah, there's also a paint mark. It's like another L, sort of, but reversed. Um... But yeah, I know, I know, like, nothing about liquor and how it, like, ages. It's interesting that something can be, like, amazing after 200 years, but, a, like, like, a little longer than 200 years makes it go bad. That's, like, so weird to me. <laughs> okay. Um, globe time. Hey, a globe. Doesn't it look kinda weird? I think somebody glued a piece of paper to it. Oh. Let's see if we can get it off then. Oh, I guess that's why we examine. I didn't even spin it either. You have found a world map to view it. Oh. Oh, it just like, it just got rid of it. And now we have a world map. Okay, let's examine this thing first though. A slingshot. Not the most impressive weapon, but it's simple as hell and it won't jam like a gun. Okay. That's all the things we have. Uh, what's this? Is it one of those vacuuming robots you see on TV? A Roomba? <laughs> you got me. Looks like a machine of some sort. 
Well, is it turned on? Don't think so. Let's see if... Nope, no luck. Huh. Nothing. Might as well give up. Yeah. Let's go look at something else. We can always come back to it later. Yeah, a lot of things that are just like... Okay. I wasn't sure if I clicked on like the little scroll if it meant, oh, more liquor. Huh? This is cheap brandy. Alcohol this bad shouldn't even exist. So I think it's best if I dispose of it safely within my... I'll be taking that. Grumble. Frickin' Tenmi OG. Hmm. Zero Senior must be a real tightwad if he's stocking this cheap stuff. Might as well be water. Is it really that bad? Well, I'll admit, I can't be sure. It's hard to really judge a brandy until you taste it. So, no! Aw. How many more brandies are we gonna find so we can have ten Miyoji disappointed? Okay, another one of these tablets. Oh, and look at that. It looks like a tablet. Does it work? No. There's an empty slot in the back. So it doesn't have a battery? Guess not. Then maybe if we can find a battery, we might be able to turn it on. Sweet, and then another another one of these L's, a bookshelf. There's some paint inside it. Okay, so another green- oh, it looks like there's more down below it. Oh, hello. Just literature. Chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4. This looks like a collection of literary analyses. Do you think it has any hints to help us get out of here? If it does, we're screwed. I think we'd starve to death before we got through all four of those tombs. True. Alright. A historical adventure saga. There are three volumes. Okay. And then philosophy. I think these are philosophy books. The stuff in here is pretty sophisticated. I'm amazed you could get that far. I flipped the first one open and my brain just said, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bunch of books. We also have more paint down here. Can I... Oh! Oh, we can put the books back. Well, that might be an important info. And we cannot get over to this right here? That seems weird. Okay. We have this big thing. Man, this safe is really big. It's gotta be like a hundred billion dollars in there. <laughs> you're such a kid. Maybe they're just hiding something they really don't want people to see. It looks like it could fit a person. <gasps> like some videos? I'm not sure. I like the way you said that. I'm not sure I like the way you said that. <laughs> oh, is he talking about porn? Let's just open it up and find out. Ugh, I don't think... See... Is it locked? Yeah. There's a circular input panel on the top of the handle. It looks like the one on the pressure exchange chamber's door. So if we just do the same thing we did then... Well, I... Wait, what? Alright, let's do it. Wait, what? What? The same thing we did... We, we must get a document. Oh, well, we do. Look at that. Um, so this must wrap around the globe, right? So purple, purple, yellow, white, and teal, and then green and red, pinkish red, whatever that is. Purple, yellow, white, teal, green, red. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Oh shit, how do we get purple, yellow? Well, let's just start with one of these and get this, like, that's a fast route, right? The problem is, I already see one problem, right? We need to get purple up through here, over, all the way over here, but the problem is then we need to get green to here. Huh. So how does one do that? Green could go...
Cause like if we if we do this right here with the white and the the teal, the purple needs to get to this yellow all the way over here, which means we wouldn't be able to block this way off, right? If purple wanted to come this way and go, but then how would we get to teal? Interesting. Tricky, tricky. Um. Just for, just for me, I'm gonna do this just so I can look at it better. Right, so we got the green connected to the red. But the problem is, is I didn't even read the rules. I assumed they were the same rules, right? That the lines can't intersect. Unless I just didn't, I, I could back out and read the rules again. But I'm actually not sure how we're supposed to get purple past this in in any way, you know? Like, even if we brought, like... Even if we did that, right? That kind of gets that out of the way. And then we could do... Oh! I think I see it. Maybe. Right? Like that. And then green, like that. Hey, okay, that wasn't bad. I just had to mess with it a little bit. Good job, you did it. Hmm, nice work. Very impressive. Let's have a look inside. A hundred billion dollars. Videos, yeah, yeah. Ugh, creepy, I don't like it. Sorry guys, looks like all we got is a binder and a deer. So a uh, bind deer? Ah ha 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 ha, quirk, you're so funny. What the hell is this? Zero is just making fun of us. The deer's looking at me, Grandpa. Fuck up, it's just fake. It's just a fake. Alright, so we got it. A mounted deer. Poor deer. Take a close look, I think it's just a replica. Oh, you mean it's fake? Yeah. Woo. That's good to know. You know, there's some red paint on its neck. It's also got two pegs on the back of its boards. Maybe we're supposed to put it up somewhere? Okay. Somehow all this paint is gonna, like, connect together. Alright, so there's a binder in the safe. It's got two pieces of paper in it. Okay. Um, well, we might as well back out of that. It looks like I got everything, right? Can we open that back up any time? Okay, we can. We can't get down lower, right? Oh, it's just leaving. Okay. I think we got everything. Um, we might as well go look at those files. Business cards. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh. Well, that's weird. Oh wait, that is business cards too. Okay. So business cards one gives us part of the solution. Business cards two gives us a hint. The women are requesting the following positions. Carol likes to be on Okay. Well, we might as well wait to look at that until we go back there. Um, which I guess we've gone full circle. Is there anything we can use? Can we use the spear to pop the balloon? Pop. The balloon in the middle of the room. No, pop it! Pop it! Um, Slingshot it. There's gotta be a reason for that damn balloon. We're not supposed to pop it? Do we throw a book at it? I'm just kidding, I don't know. Oh, we'll go back to it later, I guess. Um, so, business card thing, I guess. Oh, wait! The tip of this kinda looks like a diamond a little bit. D is that the key? Hey! Ha! It opened. There's something in here. That- oh my god, I'm an idiot! They- they fucking- okay, so I'm- I'm an idiot because when they said the- the head of it looks like a diamond in the description, my first thought was like the- the tip of it, like the blade part was made out of the rock diamond. 
but they were just hinting at this door, but I figured it out anyway, so... Oh well. <laughs> my bad. Is it a key? I feel stupid for not picking up on that sooner, but I'm just thinking about other things, I guess. Too busy trying to piece all this together in other ways. That's a pretty small key. The tip is circular. Oh, it goes to that machine. Have you seen anything this key might fit into? Alright, well, before we leave here, let's, uh... Let's try and figure this out, right? Place the business cards in the correct order. By clicking one business card and then the other, you can swap their positions. Okay. So, we know Bob is in top left. Right? Chris and John are top middle and to the right. So, Chris is there. John is there. Tony is bottom middle, far left. Tony, Ian, Michael. I think I might be able to remember those. Um, Tony, Ian... Oh wait, was Ian on the right? I think he was, right? Ian was there, and then Michael was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Carol likes to be on the... Carol likes to be on the left. Anne prefers to be near Bob. Ellen would like to be above Anne. Okay. So Carol likes to be on the left, so let's kinda... But we can't move any of the ones we already set up, so... Um... So Carol's already on the left, technically. Uh, Anne prefers being near Bob, and Ellen would like to be above... Anne. So Anne wants to be near Bob. Can near Bob mean diagonal? Well, wait, no. Chris and John are stuck. Well, putting Anne here would put Anne near Bob. And then Ellen is technically above? Is that enough of above, or does it have to be, like, directly? Does it have to be, like, Anne and then Ellen, like, directly above? Let's keep going, I guess. Sophie likes to be on the very right, and Kate likes to be ne next to Michael. So Sophie likes to be on the very right, and Kate is already near Michael. Okay, there we go. Not bad. I think this is right. Then let's look at the other side. Maybe the shapes look like something now. Alright, let's have a look at the back of the business cards. Oh, I didn't realize that you could flip. I, I saw the damn blue arrow and I was like, I didn't even think about it. Oh, shit. Okay, so book 334. Oh, so they go in the order 334? On the shelf, then? It says book 334. <laughs> what does it mean? Well, a book is a bunch of pieces of paper. <laughs> oh my god, thanks, Quirk. A bunch of pieces of paper that are bound together with... <laughs> I know what a book is. Alright. Before I forget 334, let's go back here. Take these bookerinos. It doesn't s oh, shit. Okay, good, it didn't do too much. So, three books. Four books. I don't know if it matters what order. Three. That didn't seem to do anything, did it? Did we... did we do it wrong? Book 334? Wait, I don't think you need to move the books around anymore. Remember? The back of the business card said Book 334? So if that meant to arrange the books in the order 334... Oh. Yeah, I guess I already did that. Oh, okay. So... That literally served its purpose. I just don't know what it did? It just, it didn't seem like anything, like, unlocked or anything clicked, or we can't go to that anymore. A bookshelf, some paint inside of it. Do we need to put, like, certain brandies on certain spots? Like, we had this brandy, does that- Oh, I tried putting the good brandy on the coaster, but... But what? But... Did, did nothing happen? Bottle of expensive brandy has some red paint on it. I think the red paint on this bottle has something to do with the red section of the wall. Maybe it's part of a letter? 
Hmm, I can't tell from here. Maybe if we look at it from another angle. Is it? It does kind of look like an H, so I guess I was supposed to put that there. So is that is that supposed to be an H? That's kind of what it looks like, a capital H, right? Um, we also have a line- oh! I just saw the dots. Wow, that's like out of sight. I guess you can click up there, that's why. Red paint on the wall. It looks like there's an outlet right next to it. Why would somebody put an outlet this high up? Well, it's probably not an electric outlet. What is it then? I think you're supposed to insert something into it. Like what? Maybe the deer? Yes, that's it. Remember how there are two pegs on the back of the mount? I'll bet they fit perfectly. If Would they have said that if I didn't click on it with the deer already? I wonder. Give it a try. Because I had already figured that out, but... Well, it looks like you were right. Okay. And then... Oh, is that an E? Yeah, okay, so H-E. Is it going to spell, like, help or something ominous like that? Uh, let's go to this page. Let's get rid of this. Oh, my star. I don't want to get rid of my star. It's so flawless. Bye. Um, so we have H... E... Might as well do that, even though I might be able to remember. Um, something is supposed to go as a head, I feel like. A brandy head. Red paint on the neck and shoulder. I guess not. No idea what this thing might as well- okay. Well, still don't know what that is. Um, so what do I have? Can this cheap brandy block over here? Oh, hey! Look, the laser beam is bending all around the inside of the bottle. Yeah, it made a parallelogram. Interesting. So does that just- the laser beam is making a parallelogram in the bottle. Okay. What did that do for us, though? Well, I guess we might as well do this next thing. I don't know... I don't know what the parallelogram did for us. I guess I could try the screen again. It says it's still starting up. It probably can't do anything right now. Okay, well, that's that. Uh, let's insert the key. Whoa, the light on the top turned on. Looks like you managed to turn it on. All right, it's on, now what? Well, why don't we give it a face to look at? What a, one of ours? Yeah. Damn. None of our faces work. Okay. Face not recognized. Gender mismatch. What does it mean by gender mismatch? Maybe it says that it needs a girl? That was my first thought. But there's only three of us and none of us are women. Well, maybe if we dress Quirk up like a girl... No, no way! <laughs> Why don't you dress up, then? No, just thinking about that is making me want to puke. Besides, do you see a wig or makeup or anything around here? How would any of us dress up like a woman anyway? Dude, you totally want to do it. No, I don't. Okay. Just a bunch of dots. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe. What is it? Did you have an idea? Well, it can't hurt to try. Yeah, definitely worth a shot. Are they gonna, like, draw a woman's face on the balloon or something? How long has he had that in his pocket? It looks like a piece of paper. No, it's a picture. Oh, shit! The picture that he has. Wait! Okay. Well, let's just, let's just let this play out. Oh yeah, I remember I'm looking at that in the infirmary. I guess it's worth a shot. It even has like a stand in front of it for him to set the picture on. Oh shit! Oh, there's something back there. There's something back there. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's like we're in a villain's secret lair. Huh? Didn't think that would happen. I guess the recognition worked. 
Yeah. Is it because the woman in the picture is one of the other participants that got killed? Okay. So, if that worked, I guess technically every other team has a girl on it, right? If it does need a girl. So, who is this girl? Hey, stop. Ah! Akane! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait! Is this like Akane's father? Maybe? It's. Well, no, never mind, that's right, because I found out that the, the previous owner game happened a year ago. So it could be Akane's grandfather? Or something? She's just a girl. Is she your granddaughter? No. Well, who is she then? Is, is Ten Miyoji? No, because we found out the other one was just a year ago. Unless Clover lied about that. I was gonna say, oh, he's Junpei. He's old Junpei. Never mind. Stupid. Stupid. A year ago. You gotta remember that. Ugh. Damn it. Fine. You've already seen her after all. Her name is Akane Kurashiki. I've been looking for her for a long time. What? Why? I know who she is! Because she's his first love. No! You've got it wrong. But you carry that picture everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen you leave it somewhere. And when you don't think anyone's watching, you talk to it. I've seen you do it- well, technically we are in the future, right? We were taken in 2028. Which was a year after the game, but we have no idea what year it is right now. I don't know. My brain hurts. Like, technically, because we don't know what year it is, even if we were knocked out, unless we were in some kind of cryostasis bullshit, if we were knocked out for, like, a long period of time, like, a lot of years, it's possible Tenmyoji could be someone we know that's just older? I don't know. Wait, but if we were stuck here for a long time, how old was Quirk when he was taken? I don't know. We'll just have to- I'm getting ahead of myself. And when you don't think anyone's watching, you talk to it. I've seen you do it. Ugh. Huh? Didn't mark you for a hopeless romantic Tenmyoji. Holy shit, it's freaking Akane. Look, it's not about love, and I'm not a goddamn romantic. Okay, okay. You don't want to talk about her. I get it. I don't. Talk to me about it, damn it. Why do you have a picture of Akane? Why was it a picture of her on that hill, right? That was that same picture, right? From the first game? She was like on the hill with, with Junpei talking? Akane Kurashiki. I can't say I'd blame Tamiyoji for falling for her back when he was younger. She was a cute kid. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, well I guess we have to leave the picture there, so that way this stays the way it is, so... Look! Oh hey, there's a helmet for the suit of armor. Alright, and, and then the... Oh! We have to... I know what we have to do. You must be feeling pretty tired, Tenmyoji. All the excitement can't be easy for someone of your age. Why don't you sit down for a bit? Hmm. I'm not so old, I need the likes of you worrying about me. That's so. Well, I think I'll just have to have a seat then. Ah! Oh! A target! Well, we need some kind of ammo for it, right? But, oh, well, shit. Huh, what's that? You think maybe it's an eye watching us? Because we have the slingshot, but we don't have any ammo for it. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's a target. Like a bullseye? Yeah, you're supposed to shoot it. Yeah, I get that, but we yeah, we don't have any ammo. What I thought was we were supposed to sit in the chair and then pull this lever, which is gonna flip the room around again, right? There's a lever next to the chair. Why don't you pull it? What's going to happen? Come on, is it really that hard to figure out? You think it's gonna go back into the wall? Pull the damn thing and find out. Yeah, there's something in there. Alright, I guess I should start by sitting in the chair. I think it was the battery for the the screen that we have. Then I pull the lever. Here I go. Alright. Wee! Oh, I wish it gave us the animation of it spinning. Oh, so that's a P. How much you want to bet the other letter's gonna be an L? Um... 
here. I'm just gonna make a little space because I have a feeling we're gonna have an L. Um, all right, looks like there's something on the table. Is that a battery? How dark is it in this room? Okay, um, there's a P painted on the wall in red paint. Okay, I think that's, oh, we can actually like wiggle a little bit. I think that's everything for here, so I guess we can press the lever and get out of here. If I pull it again, the chair should turn back around, right? Oh, whatever. Not like I have a choice. Ha! Whee! Alright. Uh, combine! Looks like you got the tablet to turn on. Look! Something showed up on the screen. Enter a four-digit password, then press the enter key on the right. Okay, well, let's see if I'm right. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll still do the helmet, but it was help. Pretty obvious. You did it! Hmm. Good work, Sigma. What did that do, though? Take a look at the screen. Oh! Oh, shit. Huh? What's this? Okay, so that's one of the passwords. Sun, moon, moon. Looks like the password for the safe. Awesome. Now we can open it. Okay. Which one is that? That is, uh, I always forget whether green is the gold file. Okay, no, that's the key. Good job. It opened. Hmm. Good work. Hmm, looks kind of empty this time. Yeah, it's only the key to get out and the key cards. There are only two things in here. First, we've got the AB room key cards. Oh, these must be the star cards they were talking about. There are two of them. You guys take one and I'll take the other. Right. We're a pair, so we only... You know what's gonna really suck? I don't think so. I could be wrong, but that would really suck if we were stuck in here for such a... No, there's no way because Quirk wouldn't be able to exist in this room unless people got kidnapped at different times. I guess it's possible people got kidnapped at different times. I forget if Quirk said that when he got kidnapped. So my thought was, that would suck if that old lady was Akane. Like a really old Akane. But once again, if if Akane was that old at the last Nonary game, and she got kidnapped a year later, and then held somewhere, that would mean that Sigma got kidnapped around the same time, and Sigma remembers being in college in 2028. There's no way that we would have been trapped in there long enough for Akane to age to the point of being an old lady, right? Unless there's some time shenanigans bullshit happening where, like, I don't know. But I was just saying, that'd suck if we just found out that just Akane was just dead in this game. Like, before it even started. And Dio was the one that killed her. Fuck that. Right, we're a pair, so we only need one for the two of us. And the other thing is... The key, as usual. Yes! Now we can get out of here. But we shall not leave! Great, no point in sitting around. Let's go. Liar! Liar! We must! Oh, the screen is on now. Huh? It changed. That looks like a puzzle. Is it? It's a silhouette puzzle called uh, a tangram. Move or rotate the triangles and squares to get the shape you need. Pressing the rotate move rotate slash move button will allow you to switch between move and rotate mode. You can rotate a piece by dragging it while it while in rotation mode. Oh god, I have a feeling I'm gonna suck at this. Dragging while in movement mode will move the piece in question. Once you've made the shape you want, I mean, obviously we gotta make that parallelogram, right? I have no idea what that is. Let's give it a shot. Um. Oh wow, we can just like freely drag it. Interesting. Um. Fuck. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Alright. Um. Here, before we do that. 
Let's, uh, I want to go... I want to draw this just because I, I, I know what it looks like, but I, I just want to have a reference. Um, so we need it angled like that. Good enough. That's basically the shape we gotta make. Okay. It's basically a, yeah. It's basically a parallelogram. Alright. So... How much can we rotate? Oh my god, it, it gives you so much free range. Okay. So... We somehow need to have the angles, right? Oh my gosh, this is, this is gonna break my brain. Can we just start from scratch? Maybe? Um, okay. So... It's funny because I've like, I feel like I've done this in school, right? Um, this sort of thing, you know? Uh, what am I, what am I even doing? It's like so weird how you can even like free range do it so much too, you know? So I was thinking maybe having these angles be the two triangles, right? Somehow. And then we need flat bottoms and top, but I don't know how. Oh, I'm in rotate mode, shit. But it's so weird how like you can freely wiggle them, you know? Like, you would think they'd be locked on a grid to, like, help you out a little bit. Um, but, like, if we were to do something like that... Not fitting as I wanted it to, never mind. Yeah, that's... Hmm. How... I mean... I guess maybe you don't have to use... You might not have to use all the parts, right? <laughs> this is like the exact shape we need, just the wrong way. I was thinking like, hey, this is the... Actually, maybe we do need to use all the shapes, in fact. That might be... that might be something we have to do. Um, well, technically, the way I see it, right, guys? The way I see it is... Whoops. Either we have to use the big triangles as the angles on the edge, like I was trying to do. Or we have to use them as the bottoms. I don't think there's any other choice, right? Because either way, this has to be the same length as this one. Or this one has to be the same length as this one. Which I feel like would be hard to do. Um, so if we, if we go, like, the easy route, right? I wonder how, like, perfect you need to be. Like, how perfectly... Oh, shit. I forgot to change modes. Um, that's not level at all. It, like, has acceleration. It, like, accelerates. Alright, maybe that's- maybe it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so, like, if we were gonna do it, we'd have to have it like this, right? You can't- I guess you can overlap, can't you? But I'm guessing they're not supposed to overlap. Maybe I should go read the rules again now that I understand... Okay, let's go read the rules again now that I understand the motions. Move or rotate the triangles and squares to get the shapes you need. But pressing the rotate move button will allow you to switch 
between move and rotate mode. You can rotate a piece by dragging it while in rotation mode. Dragging a piece in movement mode will move the piece in question. Once you've made the shape you want... Okay. Well, it doesn't say you can't overlap them, but it also shows us here that none of them are overlapping, so... Hmm. Interesting. Alright, um... I mean, this right here, obviously, is is kind of close, right? It's a it's a square. the The trick is we need to just shimmy it, but we probably have to redo the whole thing. Um, hmm, that's a tricky little puzzle, you know. Cause like if we if we rotate this bad boy. Oh. I did it. <laughs> no, we probably need to use all the pieces, right? Even if I like if I if I were to adjust this a little bit. Oh shit. Oh, it's so wiggly. It's so wiggly! Like, the... yeah, okay, we need to use all the pieces. Then... If we do this exactly like we had it, but we squeeze in all the pieces in between... What if we did something like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The problem is, is this is bigger, right? Yeah, that's the big problem with with this right here. Look how much bigger this is to this. So maybe this isn't gonna work this way. Yeah. That piece is too big. Damn. Um... I hate trying to turn this thing. I will say that much. Not a, not a fan of turning this. Um. Hmm. Okay. So that theory is a bust. Unless. I don't know why I'm trying to go the long way. It could be like this. And then... This goes like this. Obviously they're not like... Sitting properly, I feel like. And then... The problem is, is we're not gonna fit everything in here. It's too... It's too thin. I think, right? Is the problem I'm running into. Um, it needs to be longer this way, I think, doing it like this. Um, It's like so close, like something like that is kind of what we need, but we need it to be like a pe like big enough to fit these pieces in too, I think, right? Yeah. Um getting closer though. I mean, the only thing I can think of is, what if we were to rotate these like this, right? Because this is the longer edge, right? They kind of give us these, like, that's, that's pretty close, right? And then if we move these out, and then if we rotate this one, would have to be... 
Oh, that doesn't sit right though, right? It has to be like this kind of angle. Which I guess like... Maybe we could do? I guess all those other pieces formed a square in between these, right? Before? So if we could form that, that square again, maybe it'd be something like this? If I'm thinking about it right, and then... We do something like, take this... Um... I don't know how we're gonna fit all this, but if we start piecing it together, maybe we will see how we can do so. Something like that, and then this isn't gonna fit right, is it? Maybe? Maybe something like that, and then... We don't we don't have enough pieces this way. It might be too it might be too far apart is one thing. Um Well let's start from like right to left, right? Like can we I mean from left to right. We already have that piece there. Can we put this here? And like Like that, kind of, except we might need to turn it a little bit. But the problem is, is I don't know that we're going to fit anything in there. I don't think anything's going to fit in that properly. So maybe this has to be moved up then? Like this? But once again, is that leaving... That doesn't leave enough shapes. Okay, so let me... I know kind of how I did this. Let me reset, right? Oh, never mind. Okay, it formed a... Shit. It formed a square using these. My bad. I was thinking it was, like, between these and formed a square. Interesting. I can't just, like... If I just take these out and were to, like, reposition them, that's not gonna be enough. There's no way. Um, hmm. I hate, I'm sure it doesn't have to be perfect. I bet if I just get it close. Like, I keep trying to get them to perfectly line up, and I don't think I have to do that. Right? Something like that. Um... And then we just have to somehow fill in... Hmm. But clearly it doesn't have to be like... Damn, this is a tricky one. I'm guessing this is for the gold file. I'm assuming that's why I'm solving this. But also, or like the ammo for the gold file. So that's definitely not that, how we do that. Um, hmm. 
If we were to do something like this, and then move this piece out, and then... If we were to move this piece over, right? Come on. There we go. I gotta click more in the middle of it. Um... This piece here... The problem is, is like, this is great and all, but I just don't have enough pieces to actually... I should have paid more attention in geometry. Because that does that, like, ni relatively nicely, but then that leaves us with this piece to fill the rest. Hmm. Interesting, guys. Interesting. Tricky, tricky thing here. Because, I mean, obviously filling this in isn't going to do this. Hmm. I feel like I might have the right idea, right, with, with the triangles being used in this way. Right? It's just a matter of getting the guts to fill in. I mean, I guess it's possible that I'm doing it completely wrong. The, the thing is, is I don't know how we would... Like, if we, if we had to use, like, all of these guts to, like, make the edges, right? It would have to be, like... It'd be really wonky, right? We would have to, like line up multiple of these to be big enough like this and like angle them right and stuff you know like i feel like that's not what we're supposed to do i feel like we're just supposed to rearrange what if we what if we were to do something like this where we drag it inside here and then we move because that would make it smaller right Nope, too big. Um, no, that wouldn't... That wouldn't work the way I want it to. They're not... They're, they're too big. This one's too big too, right? Yeah. I was trying to see if I could... If I move... If I move this thing... If I did it smaller like this... And then get a triangle to fit in here, but I guess that still would leave a little crevice right here, right? Even if a triangle fit. So that's not right. Um. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Obviously we could rotate this in a different way, but the problem is is if we rotate this in a different way, it starts getting too big, right? Like, even if we were to use it like, like this, does that, I don't think that lines up right, right? I think that's too big sticking down. You know? Which leads me to think that like, Right, like doing, even if I were to connect this, line it up somehow, if I can manage to. Like that, that sticks way too far down. So realistically, I think we have to fit it somehow like this, right? Um, probably, like, level it off a little bit. Um, hmm. 
I mean, I guess I haven't really tried moving this other. So, if we were to turn this, right, a different way, this is about the same size, right? I guess it is the same size, I think. So we could have this like this, maybe, if I could move it. We could have this like this, even. <laughs> okay, close enough. Um, the thing is, is this square is too big, so we can't we can't just move this here. That's definitely not enough stuff going on. Um, even if we were to put this like down below. And then move this over. Well, oh shit, I did not want to rotate that. We could put this like this, but once again, that pushes this way out. It's the same, it's kind of the same problem we had before, where we just have, like it's, it's I just don't know how we're supposed to make a square. God damn. It's kind of like, essentially... Essentially what I need to do is I need to make a this long square, right? And then just slap these triangles on the side of it. But I just don't know how to make a... That size square. Um, that's just going to make it even longer, and it's too long to, to go like that. Hmm. Like, honestly, this feels the closest, but I still feel like I'm so damn far away. Because, like, we don't have anything to fill that gap either way, even if we wanted to. The problem is, is there's so many options, I feel like, that I don't even know, like, where to begin, if that makes sense. Like, like, because even if we, like, if we wanted to take a different approach to this, right, you could legit, like, turn this, right, like... Maybe like this. And then turn this one like this. And then we have our square, right? And then it'd be a matter of creating the, the part that makes it a parallelogram. But the problem is, is doing that, I feel like... Wouldn't be the easiest. Oh. Right? That's not even close. That's not even the right way. I feel like the way I had the triangles before is the right way, but it's a matter of creating a square with these pieces. I think. Like, I like the idea of doing it with this here, right? Because that's like, lengthwise, it, it fit perfectly against one of these. 
The problem to me comes when we try to fit... What if we were to put this here, actually? Hold on. Could this be something? If we try to fit this against this like this, right? And then, if we were to fit this here... Right? Something like that. And then we were to... Squeeze that in here. Kind of, obviously things need to be rotated. But then this... Would go here. Did I just get it? And then we need... Um... We need that, like, this? And then this, like... Um... Like that? Hey, I did it! Okay, well, that took a while, but I did it. Oh yeah, who's the man? That was amazing. How'd you do it? That puzzle was really hard. That puzzle was actually pretty tough, guys. Well done, Sigma. That was pretty impressive. So what do we get? Look, there's something on the screen. I I L O. I I L P. What does that mean? Can we go back to the... Examine... I-I-L-P? What do we get for that? Phew. Looks like it worked. Good job. That was awesome. The screen changed. Wait! Star... Star moon? Wait, what? Hey, it looks like different before. Star, star, moon. Well, wait, hold on. We have other things, though. We never popped the balloon. Did I, like, accidentally... Like, did me figuring out help early help me, like, bypass some of this? Wait. We're gonna continue, guys. Hold on. That suits him. That's the L, right? That's clearly the L. Help. H-E-L and then P is over here. Do we, like, not need ammo? Okay, I'll just use a slingshot too. Whoa, hold on there. Do you actually have something to fire? Oh. No, I guess I don't. What are you going to shoot it with, then? With mind bullets. It's called telekinesis, Sigma. Anyway, I figured that, that it'd slip your mind like everything else. Here, I grabbed this off the floor earlier. Oh, take it. Oh, this is a key we use to start the facial recognition device. Thanks, man. We're gonna fling the key. I guess I don't have to use my special psychic powers after all. Here it goes. Aiming. Three, two, one, fire! Whoa, nice aim. You got it right in the center. Wait, what did that do? Did that just give us an angle to read the, like, the letters and give us an idea? Is that all that was? I guess that's all that was, right? I mean, we got the gold file. I thought there was going to be some secret or something. So we have the tablet and the, the key out. Alright. I guess we did it. No, he needs to take his picture back. I still can't believe that's freaking Akane. What the hell. Alright. 
And we never even used this device. Maybe we talk about that later. Maybe that's kind of like the IG replicator, where it's like, remember it. You'll need it someday. Alright, I guess let's leave. The door lock is locked right now. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm hmm. Go for it. Alright. Three, two, one. Master of Escapology. What's that achievement? Um. Master of Escapology. I don't want to get spoiled by freaking achievements. I'm trying to... I don't want to get to any one that... Master of Escapology. Escape from eight rooms in VLR. Okay. No! Oh, shit. Alright, guys. Well, this was a long, longer episode. I decided to, uh, to keep it in. Uh, I was gonna be like... When, when I got to the, the parallelogram puzzle... I was gonna be like, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just end it here and, and move to the next one. But I was like, you know what? I'm on a roll. I want to keep going. But that wasn't too bad. Like, I was stuck on the parallelogram for a bit, but I got it, you know? Like, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. And yeah, not a, not a bad puzzle room. So I felt, I feel pretty good about that one. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you... Uh, hit that subscribe button if you did. Uh, freaking, I forgot to mention, I can't believe that Akane shit happened. Like, I, I want to know so much more now. Like, how does... Obviously, I w I've wanted to know this whole time how this Nonary game relates to ZE1, but how the hell does Tenmyoji relate to freaking Akane? I don't know. But, anyway. Damn. That's crazy. That subverted my expectations because I expected it to be a picture of the old lady that died because of the way he acted. Unless one is in the same, if somehow that old lady is Akane Kurashiki or some bullshit time shenanigans, I don't know. But, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be it from me. Make sure you guys check out my Patreon, the link is in the description, where you can get access to more of these episodes ahead of time if you're... If you're excited to see more of this playthrough, I'm usually five or six more episodes ahead on my Patreon. So check that out if you're interested. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my future videos. Bye-bye.